Lesson 1 is graphic design fundamentals. These are composed of line, shapes, textures, form, and balance. So, what is graphic design? Graphic design is a craft planning of and creating visual content to communicate ideas and messages. It is also known as communication design. And graphic designers are essentially visual communicators. They bring visual concept to life most commonly through graphic design software and inform or engage consumer through text, graphics, and images. The basic elements of graphic designs are the following, lines, shapes, form, and texture, and also balance. So lines, lines is a kind of shape which connects two or more points. It is also considered as one of the essential of graphic design. Lines can be thick, thin, curved, or jagged. Next is shape. It's a two-dimensional external boundary of an object. Any object outline that has height and width can be considered as a shape. There are two major categories of shape in design. First, geometric. These are regular and mathematical shapes. Next is organic. These are free-form shapes. Next is form. Refers to the structure, shape, and arrangement of components, such as breadth, length, depth of a three-dimensional artwork, including architecture or sculpture. Texture. Refers to the physical quality of the surface of an object in an artwork design. It is also refers to how an object looks or feels like. An object might be smooth, rough, shiny, hard, or soft. Texture can be used for establishing visual value or focal for point in an artwork. Second, having a contrast with the design. And lastly, making an artwork visually balanced. So last, balance. Visual balance is the creation of visual equilibrium by relating elements such as line, shape, color, space, or form in terms of their visual, visual weight. There are two kinds of visual balance. First, symmetrical balance. Includes radial symmetry in, is when both sides of piece are equal. Second, asymmetrical balance. Both sides of your composition does not contain the same elements but contain almost the same visual weight. So hi, my name is Kenrick Tagwa and let's discuss the branding and identity. What is branding? Branding is a simple what people think about you, your company, your product, and your services. For example, so branding we think of Albert Einstein as the epitome of intelligence and that how he was branded. So sa identity, identity is the visual representation of a brand. It can be a form of image, choice of color, or typography, and many more. For example, sa identity, we quickly recognize the company and its service but just looking at its logo type base of color combination branding and identity are not just for product and services we can even apply to how we work or what type of output we produce for example the use of bright and bold colors are often associated with the famous painter so let's enumerate the seven step of creating brand brand identity so number one establish clear purpose and positioning number two conduct truth market research number three get a personality 
and number four create a polish logo and number five create and attractive color palette and number six select professional typography and number seven choose on brand support supporting graphics and that's all thank you hey, i'm just a may and in this lesson i will discuss the lesson tree the layout and composition layout and composition are the building blocks of the design these two focus on the arrangement of your object elements on your design your good text images are the other elements in graphic will turn to waste in your layout is not well composed we might be confused sometimes in using layout instead of layout please take note that these two are not the same layout is verb phrase which simply means to arrange something while layout is a noun which means how things are organized there are five basic principles of layout and composition proximity white space alignment contrast and repetition proximity is the process of placing related elements together elements are not related that group should be separated to show that these elements are not related to that group there means you are using two or more things that has a connection on each other white spaces not literally the white spaces that you found on the design but rather the negative negative spaces between lines paragraph elements on the design two types of white space micro white space and macro white space micro white space mini spaces between paragraphs lines menu items or other elements in the design composition macro white space large spaces between contents and elements alignment help designers to organize different elements in their composition this one means we use to create a perfect pattern on what we use doing contrast means one element is to the other element means one element is the opposite to the other element this means one of part of our creation is brighter or sometimes darker than the other creation we have repetition simply means to use of the same typefaces, color palettes, or elements to achieve consistency in your composition. This means, if you're going to make another creation, you can use the same things you use. Good day everyone, my name is Israel Yumich Dasha, BSHM 1A. So for today, I'll discuss to you the topography. Topography is the art of arranging text that makes it readable and appealing to the viewer. It involves font styles, typeface and text structure. Some people often misuse the term font as typeface. So let us ex explain first the difference between font and typeface. Fonts also refers to the format or storage mechanism of a text like OTF and TTF. For example, Arial Narrow, Arial Black, and Arial Rounded are fonts under the Arial typeface. Fonts can be categorized into three, serif, sans serif, and display. Serif fonts are fonts that have letters show, called serif on each end of the letter. They are typically used in formal or traditional projects. Example of typeface with serif are Times New Roman, Baskerville Old Face, and Californian FB. Sans serif are fonts with no extra stroke. Sans serif simple means without serif. As sans is a French word for without. These fonts are normally found in mobile phones and computer screens. Example of these types are Calibri. Arial and Roboto. Display fonts are sometimes called as fancy or decorative fonts. It can be script, black letter, or all caps. These type of fonts are used in spe special occasion like invitations, titles, or poster. Example of these display fonts are advertising script and banger, and also for forte. Choosing a font or typeface. Whether you are new or old in graphics designs, one dilemma that most graphic designers experience is on what fonts or typeface are they going to use. 
One mistake that beginners commit is the misuse of fonts or typeface. In choosing a font or typeface, it should portray the message that you want to say to your viewers. In design, fonts and typeface do matter. It shows the difference interpretation of these notes with the same message but using different typeface. In choosing typeface on your design, limit yourself to one or two per project and you may play with their family of fonts for emphasis or contrast. You may combine serif and sans serif, display and serif, or display and sans serif. Imaging and design for social impact lesson 5 color. Color are very essential to your composition. One may use a combination or one or more colors. It may be our instinct to choose color, but there is a science behind it called color theory. Color theory describes how different colors contribute to each other and how they appear as they are mixed into other color schemes. Terminologies used in colors. Hue refers to pure, vibrant color. Saturation refers to the intensity of the color. Value refers to the lightness or darkness of a color. Color schemes. In color schemes, we have primary colors, secondary colors, and tertiary colors. A circular diagram of this color is called color wheel. Monochromatic color schemes. These color schemes only focuses on one color and often using variation by incorporating saturation or values. Achromatic color schemes. This color scheme only revolves on the saturated color like black, gray, and white. Analogous color schemes. Analogous color schemes select a group of three colors that are adjacent in the color schemes. Complementary color schemes. These are colors that are direct opposite to each other in the color wheel. Usually a combination of primary and secondary colors. Split complementary color scheme. This color scheme uses the colors on both sides of the opposite color. Triadic color scheme. This color scheme uses that form an equilateral triangle. It may be a combination of primary, secondary, tertiary colors. Tetradic color schemes, also known as double complementary. This color scheme uses two pairs of complementary colors. So hello everyone, my name is Maria Macarena Amboy from BSHM 1A. So today I'm going to report about the imaging and designing for social impacts. Lesson 6, image. So what is image? So images are not just limited to photographs, it also includes graphics and other illustration. Having images on your composition makes it appealing to the eye of the viewer. So finding and placing the right images is not a difficult thing as long as you know what kind of image you are going to use in your composition. So image file types. Vector. So vector, it is a type of image that does not lose its quality when zoomed in. Your image will not be pixelated when enlarged. Raster. This is opposite to vector. Raster images becomes pixelated when enlarged. Vector image file extension. So encapsulated postscripts or EPS, the vector format are designed to produce high resolution graphics for print being a universal file type. EPS files can be open in any design editor. So Adobe Illustrator document or EI. Most preferable and commonly used image file type by designers. If you want to create a vector image, AI is one of the best tools for you. Raster Image Extension Joint Photographic Expert Group or JPEG This file type is the commonly used image file type. Since this is a raster type of image, JPEG images are known for, the, for their lucy. Compression, meaning the image quality decreases when being enlarged. Portable Network Graphics or PNG this file type is known for having a transparent background. Images in this type are commonly used in web documents. Graphics Interchange Format or GIF. This file type is known in its animated form. You can find them in social networking sites as, post, 
as posts or comments, JFs are often used in web pages as can load quickly due to its reduced file size.